All right, good afternoon, evening, whatever you are. Today I am showing you the guide to getting the tr the, <laughs> the bow uh, Rock Delar uh, by defeating the four different demons across the country. This is the Petrified Leaf Quest. So the easy way right here I'm showing you is the tree in Burning Steps for Clinfin the Crazed. So basically you're going to kite him back and forth up and down this tree. Uh, I keep a scorpion sting on him as a precautionary because if he does accidentally get a hit off, he's going to not rock you for like 3k. So it's best to just keep that uh, scorpion sting on him as often as you can. Uh, this is the normal pull spot at the bottom of Burning Steps. Um, so nothing really different here other than the tree. Uh, make sure you uh, get high enough up on the tree. You'll see I go up because he can swing from the bottom and still hit you. As you can see my skeleton on the dead tree. Um, honestly, doing it this method, you really don't need any extra pots uh, or any buffs. Uh, I lay down campfires because I'm OCD about my spirit. As you can see I have a shadow protection. I have a mana buff, spirit buff, health buff, mongoose, an agility food, and then of course my uh, hawk and true shot Oreo. And just stay really um, patient here. As you can see, he just hit me right there. But stay patient and keep the Sorpid Sting on as precautionary and just auto, 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 and just back and forth, back and forth. All right, we got him about to a quarter health now, so we're almost there. And this is Clinfin the Crazed in Burning Steps, done easy mode. You're welcome, hunters. And uh, I play completely, as of currently, I know I will need uh, my mods for Blackwing Lair, but uh, I currently play zero mods, and I like to show that in my stream, so, you know, for the more casual players who are looking for help, who don't have every fucking crazy ass add-on, you know, it's easier for them to understand. So now we're about to take on Simone the Seductress in an Ungoro Crater. Um, it's a similar method. You're going to see me here jump on to a little part. This is at the Hive at the very southern part of Ungoro. Uh, the key to this fight is keeping Viper Sting on her so that she cannot do her Chain Lightning. I have a Nature Protection Potion as just a precautionary as she just got that first Chain Lightning off. Um, also, the second part is concussing the dog, as you just saw me do there. The dog has a much greater um, run speed than her, so he will get back and forth quicker. So to even that out and make sure you know uh, they don't get on top of you, one doesn't get on top of you while the others, you know, at the other end, uh, concussing the dog really helps here. And so this is going to be a very patient, just back and forth. Make sure you keep a viper on her so she doesn't chain lightning you and concuss him when you can. Um, as you can see, really not a lot of buffs or anything. Uh, I don't have any other help. There are a lot more ads around, so make sure you clear those bugs. As I said, this is at the hive of south of Ungoro Crater, at the very back. Um, if you have your back to the south mountains facing north, this is at the left entrance of the hive. I know the normal pull spot is the lakes up on the west side of Ungoro. I actually tried that, got her to a quarter health, and a lion's druid showed up and swiped her from stealth and reset the fight after I killed the dog. This way, you don't even have to kill the dog. It's a very simple kite back and forth. Um, I was able to loot, as you'll see here pretty shortly, I was able to loot her head before the dog even came back around and I just ran off and, you know, he doesn't matter. You can pick up the head from her and just run off. Alright, so you see I'm concussing the dog. She's almost dead. I'm kind of getting ohm. Can't take that mana pot yet, so I'm pretty sure she's about to get a chain lightning off on me. You'll see I back up a little further on that route, so now I've got the range to get that. Dog's coming. And this becomes just such an easy, simple fight doing it like this. She does have a huge path path, so it can take her sometimes a little bit of time to get down here to the south side of Ungoro Crater. But, uh, you know, just be patient, and it really, it, it's worth it, as you can see how easy I'm doing this fight. I've taken almost zero to no damage. 
I haven't had to reuse a pot. I use a mana pot, but just honestly, because I was just trying to get this fight over with more or quicker. All right, so you can see I'm gonna loot her head and just run off. Up next, easy mode is gonna be Solonar the Slayer out of Syphilis. So you're gonna pull him not at the normal pull spot, you're gonna pull him kinda of at the end of his pat here. Uh, again, buy one of these hive minds. Now do be careful, the, as you can see, uh, I've got a 58 here on me. There are some 58 to 60 elites that sit on the outside of this hive. It is very important that you clear them. And actually, you can clear them solo um, if you have a hard time with them using the same method I'm about to show you for Solon or the Slayer. Now you're gonna see me, I'm just gonna clear everything because I'm a fucking Huntard and I don't need help. Uh, there's one of the elites right over there I'm staring at now, has my pets finishing this one off. I even, before I started this, I put the Demon Slaying Enchant on my weapon to try to make all this easier and I was just having such a rough time and I said, fuck this, you know, I'm gonna uh, figure out another way to do this. Oh god, I hope this is one where my pet dies because I'm just not paying attention. I think I saved him here. Making sure that he's still not popping up behind me because he pats uh, past the pull point and then he'll start circling around almost kind of like to where he originally started. But, uh, you know, we'll see about that. Yes, I just let my pet die. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I killed the thing, I think, and then my pet died. I was like, well. Now I was just making sure he did not pass me here because I was super scared he was like gonna pass me, you know, and reset or something. So you can see him slowly walking over. That damn little demon, man. I'm gonna revive my pet, go take care of. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop him where I want him. And then I'm going to go take care of that other elite real quick, just so, uh, you know, it doesn't get in my way of the kite method. Unfortunately, I have not found a way to do Otorius um, out in Winter Spring easy. Um, you know, it took me, gosh, just in one day, probably seven attempts to get it right, kind of. But you know, it was funny. I was uh, my pre or my healer had left. I was like, "Fuck it, I'm done." And I was like, "You sure?" I was like, "You know what? I'm about to get off. I'm waiting like any minute for the girlfriend to come home. I'm just gonna do it." And I actually got it on the last just fuck it try. I didn't pop any pots, nothing. I was like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna try it, just to try it." And I nailed it, as you're about to see here in the next uh, six minutes, six eight minutes. All right, we're gonna kill this elite. And I'm pretty sure that will clear Ugh. the area for me. I do apologize if this is low in quality. Uh, this is my first video, first clip, so I'm trying here. I'm trying. Oh, there is one more. There's the other elite. I was about to say, I thought there was two elites. So we got to get rid of this other elite, too. This is, you know, where... Having some people around would help. I flew directly here from Ungoro after finishing Simone the Seductor, so you can even still see my uh, nature protection pod is still active. I've got some scrolls I use just to try to like, up the speed of it all. My apologies, I did not have this speeded up. trying to seek audio with it. We'll see if that makes sense in the final clip. It'd be kind of funny if it did.
All right, so we got him cleared. We're heading back over to go get the demon. All right, and as you're just gonna see, I'm gonna run up over here on this ledge, let him chase me. Now, he has a fear usually, so you have to stay out of the fear range, so why you saw me in Cheetah. But, um, and then, literally right there, that's your spot, your sweet spot. You're just gonna kite him back and forth. Even with the bugs, it really shouldn't be too much of a problem. And just it becomes a back and forth game, back and forth. I, st and I think it was kind of funny, this fight was so easy with this kiting method, I didn't even bother getting my mana back up for this fight. Like, it was just that simple after redoing it. And you could wing clip him to root him and all that, but I want to say that's when he'll start fearing you, possibly, so... Yeah, just back and forth, back and forth. We're gonna sit here and watch this for like the next few minutes. Trying to make sure my audio syncs pretty well with my video. And you see my multi shots going for some of the bugs. And you could, if you wanted to do this to ensure the bugs, you know, don't become a problem, you could say here while he's running back, you know, target some of the bugs, auto them. I popped a major mana pot just to try to speed up this run a little bit. But uh, this was actually completely, entirely my first attempt at trying him over here. Um, I read about it, and I was like, huh, I wonder if, if it'll really work. And so, of course, for my viewers, I gave it a try, and as you can see, it's... Working flawlessly so far. You can see some of the bugs are kind of starting to get close to me, but not really a big deal since they're kiting back and forth as well. <sighs> Multi-shot doing work on the bugs. I feel bad for how many hunters did this the extremely hard way. And of course I'm using my thorium uh, shells with my gun right now for the increased DPS. That's a given for any hunter on this quest. All right here, I'm like, oh, any second. Three out of four done. Like I just want to die. I can cuss at him just so I can try to finish him without having to jump back down. What really sucks here though, as you're about to see, the bugs do not despawn when you kill him. And, uh, I really thought they, you know, didn't have a large attack range. Their attack range is way larger. And it didn't show, but I died right there before I picked up his head. I was able to run back and get him. So here we're, uh, Atorius the Doom, uh, in winter, spring. We've got him at the bottom of his pat path, uh, at the hill rise up where most people pat him. This is by far the hardest fight. I'm sorry, there's no easy way. So what you're going to see me do here is I'm going to aim shot, multi shot, throw him in a freezing trap, aim shot, multi shot, just to get that, look at that chunk of damage I got on him to start with. So then it becomes, you know, you got to keep the serpent sting on him. If you can keep hunter mark, it works great. Uh, it is very, 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 very crucial while you're going up this hill right here to concussive shot him. If you do not, your, the speed difference will make all the world and he will catch you. Also, any the turn you're about to see me do right here, he will take this turn as tight as he can. And so it's important for you to make sure you take the turn. As you see, I don't do the jump shot method. I had a hard time doing it up the hill, so I did the side shot, which can be a little scary. You know, it took me a couple tries to get it. But uh, making sure you have a good strafe run up, it works. And then... Like I said, right there, the corner is important to concussive as well because he will cut that corner hard. Ooh, I didn't write that. I thought I was done. I got caught on that corner. But once you get him to the road, this is such an easy fight. The hardest part is the hill in the corner. And then you're going to see me here. Like, uh, you'll see me push out of his range a little bit because I have cheat on. 
and uh, you'll just stop. Just stop. Don't ever run back towards him. Don't turn. Stay diagonal like you were, and uh, just keep ready. I was so scared I was going to lose aggro here a few times, but uh, it worked. You're going to see just keep that Serpent Sting because it adds an extra buff debuff onto him that does a lot of damage. And you're just going to kite the road. Now, it's pretty simple. Just A lot of people uh, switched to the jump shot method here. I was like, any second he's going to lose. He's going to lose aggro. I'm going to have to start this over. And then, boom, he died. And if you could hear me on the original stream, oh, let's go! What's what I said. So that's all four demons. Uh, three out of the four can be done super easy. Atorius is, of course, the hardest. Uh, that's why many save him for the last. It is important for this one, though. Um, help is really, really kind of required to help clear some of those paths, as you saw the dead bodies. Um, but thank you for coming in and watching my video. And um, if you have any other uh, tips, definitely leave a comment. And thanks for coming in and watching Easy Mode for the Hunters.